So the AK-74, also known as the Abtomat Kalashnikov 74 or the Kalashnikov's Automatic Rifle 74. It is a 5.45 times first time millimeter assault rifle developed in 1970 by MT Kalashnikov. It became a further evolution of the AKM due to the adoption of the new 5.4 times 39 millimeter ammunition by the military. The AK-74 is equipped with a new buttstock, handguard, and gas cylinder. The stock has a shoulder pad different from the AKM, which is rubber and serrated for improved seating against the shooter. In addition, there are lightning cuts on each side of the buttstock. The buttstock, lower handguard and upper heat guard were first manufactured by laminated wood, as you can see in this variant. Uh, this led changed to a synthetic plum or dark brown colored fiberglass. So the round used for this weapon system is the same one used on the previous weapon system. It's a 5.45 times 39 millimeter round. Um, the damage it can deal is 37, penetration power 62. The armor damage is 59, giving this a score of 15 total points, which isn't too bad. Okay, so the weapon modifications on the AK-74 we can put on is starting with the magazine. We have a selection of magazines that you can need, the last selection there, so that is a point. Uh, grenade launcher, we have a grenade launcher which we can select here, which is great to see. That's another point there. Handguard, we have a large selection of handguards which we can utilize on this weapon system, which is really good. Allows us to put laser attachments uh, and foregrips on the weapon system. Um, you can also put a suppressor and uh, silencers and muzzle brakes, sorry, on this weapon system at the front. That is another point there. Uh, moving on to the top rail, as we can see, we can add some top rails here, which is good. Uh, it also allows us to put multiple sights on the weapon system as well, as you can see, which is fantastic. That Picatinny rail, uh, rail, sorry. And then moving to the rear, we have a stock, which we allow us to have multiple slots there as well. Uh, I see buffer tubes, which gives us more customization, another point. And pistol grip, finally, which also gives us another point there. And unfortunately, uh, there is uh, no burst mode, there's only single fire and four. So, so this weapon system comes out of a nice side nine points uh, for the modification options. So the effective distance on this weapon system it can shoot up to is 650 meters, which gives it a solid eight points across the board, which most weapon systems have, um, which is good. Okay, next we have the standard ergonomics and recoil of this weapon system. So we have ergonomics of 43 uh, for the weapon system itself. Uh, the vertical recoil is 85 and the horizontal is 229, uh, which gives this weapon system 15 points on the standard ergonomics and recoil, which isn't isn't great, um, but it's middle of order, I suppose, in some sense. Okay, so now the modified ergonomics and recoil for the AK-74. Um, we've managed to get the ergonomics up to 79.5 and the vertical recoil to 65, and the horizontal recoil to 175, which gives it an overall score of 21 points, which sits at about average in comparison to the other weapon systems we've already looked at so far. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, that's my build of this, that like again, in all the other episodes as well. If you see a better build that you've put together, uh, let me know in the comments below, and then we can adjust the score uh, on the final episode when we get to that point. But not bad going, 21 points for it modified. Okay, now the cost of the weapon system. Um, so we've got to find parts here. We scroll down, we see the AK itself. Uh, this this price does fluctuate. It's going between 20,000 and 32,000 or in that general facility. Um, but we're going to give us a full 10 points because it is sitting around the 30,000 uh, ruble mark, which is fantastic. A really uh, high score at, you know, maximum 10 points there. And then for the fully customized weapon system, we're looking at 465 right now, current on the market. Um, and that's given us uh, seven points there, which is pretty good um, for the modified price which is good so 17 points in total for the cost of the AK-74 all right the range test so first of all we're gonna look at a small grouping of six shots on the target straight ahead and also bring it up to the shoulder it's really quick actually the ergonomics in this is about 80 I believe 79.5 and that is swift um, it feels feels comfortable um, I feel some have been a little bit faster, but I'm definitely getting at the points there. That, that feels really quick. 
Um, as you can see, when you're just moving around the map, that'd be really, really useful getting it up. Um, okay, so we're going to go for a quick small grouping of six rounds on the target up ahead. More than six shots, but that felt pretty good. Um, the grouping's quite nice and tight, really good to control. Let's go set a mass. It's got a little bit of jump there, I'm not going to lie, but the grouping is good. So I'm going to give it a solid uh, to number two points on the small grouping. So now at four points for both the grouping and the up to shoulder, which is good. But now it's the real twist uh, for me is to see kind of the recoil uh, on this weapon system. Um, so let's go on a burst on four or so and see how this comes out. First and foremost, we'll do one where we're going to hold it and not even trying to control the weapon system. And the second one will be me controlling. Let's go. Extremely jumpy there. Extremely jumpy. So the horizontal is quite a nightmare. Let's try and control it and see how we feel. When I'm controlling it, it's not too bad, actually. Um, let's go for another one. Do you know what? That's not that bad. Um, I've seen a lot worse. A lot of jumpiness. I think the vertical recoil is really controllable. But I'm definitely going to give that a point there. So we're looking at um, small grouping size as well. Even the grouping size is quite tight. So, other than you can see that on the roof. But that's definitely the... Uh, we're letting up. It's quite jumpy to the left. Even Actually, no, it's not even like jumpy to the right as well. Look, look how tight we are. And it's sort of when just this narrow bit here. I might give this a full... This might get a full 10 points. It's about the first one to get 10 points. Um, let's try it again. Um, I'm definitely giving the grouping. The grouping size is not too bad. Let's even get a tighter grouping. Uh, let's do a new target here. The first one we've done this because um, we're looking at potentially giving full 10 points out. Let's try. It's not bad. It's not a bad grouping, is it? It's still quite jumpy. The horizontal, the ver the horizontal is really good. Vertical is a little bit, bit messy, like, but. I'm thinking, I'm thinking 10 points in this, you know, because that's controllable. Look at the, that, that grouping for auto. You know what we're going to do? It's going to be our first weapon system. We're going to get 10 points on the uh, range test. I like this a lot. It works. We've got the daddy of the AKs, and it's done the best so far, I think. I might as well look back at some of the videos and compare, compare the actual grouping size, but I feel like that's pretty solid uh, in, in all fairness. So I want to give us 10 points for the range test. Right, it's a solid 10 points there, which is... Uh Pretty impressive for the range test. Highest yet we've actually scored an entire series so far. So AK-74 is looking pretty good uh, practical-wise, which is great to see. Um, so we are geared up, good to go, into the raid, see how this thing does uh, against scabs. Let's go for it. Well, there she is. AK-74, fully pimped out. Looks quite nice in, uh, in the raid, actually. <laughs> All weapons look pretty good. It's a very green room. Oh, I like this room. First floor. Yo, just want to wear that. That room to use in the future. Okay, let's try to look for some scabs and we'll go from here. Here we go. Let's try it for all two. Ooh, okay. Nice. Scav was uh, static, which made it a lot easier for me to engage him. Um, quite nice, though. Ooh, it's kicking off. Ha! Is this guy right? Not too bad at... <clears throat> well, it's not very really long range per se. It's definitely medium range. Someone's building. Let's go find out. Oh, there is. 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> magazine reload there. Should always check those corners, guys. Damn. Oh, it's nice. I like this. Let's go up the roof so we can gauge that guy across the way. Only thing is, obviously, if it was a shorter bow weapon system, it'd be pretty nice. Still, it's really nice. Swift. It's accurate. Let's get on the move. Okay. Another one down there somewhere. Can't see him though. Definitely see me. Ah, I see you, little bugger. Put on the shoot now. I like this a lot, though. I'm gonna. This is well up there for like looking at eight points. Look at that. Straightforward. It's quick. Got good accuracy in the weapon system at a decent range. It's not bad at long range. Let's see if we get some more kills. Reload looking. Reload's pretty quick in it as well. Got a little bleed on here. Here's some more. Let's get single fire going again. Or not, one behind. Sat him right down. One to the left. <laughs> Rounds left, look what we do. Dead? <laughs> no, he's not. He's just that there looking at something. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Let's try and get these last five rounds to try and neutralize these targets with the headshots, shall we? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you know what? That weapon system, I really, really like it. Um, got killed there, but there we go. Here's what is me being silly. Um, ooh, do we give it eight points? And again, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, I like nine, you know, mm, nine is quite high. I love it. I'm gonna keep it an eight. All right, it still could do with a little bit, of, bit of work, I suppose, here and there. Um, but I'm gonna give this an eight for oh, my upper opinion. That's pretty good. Eight points. All right, there we have it. Uh, got eight on the operator's view. Uh, my opinion um which is not a bad score it's up there um i think the last weapon got an eight as well the ak-105 um so that is both two the top rated weapons on my opinion which is pretty cool so that brings the weapon system up to 103 points for the ak-74 putting it at second place on the leaderboard uh right behind the ak-101 which is really cool to see um in between ak-102 really nice okay uh, I really enjoy this weapon system. It's, I think it sits really strong um, on this leaderboard. And it might even push past the AK-101 by the end of the series. We'll see. Um, but that is a good weapon system to use in Tarkov, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, moving on to the next episode to look forward to, we're going to be regretting the AK-74M. Mm -hmm.